the world of perception and the people in our lives, especially the ones that, that touch us so deeply, in many cases we could always think of them as like angels because there's a it's such a heart opening, there's there's a lot of love and connection there, but but when we hear the words holographic universe or we get into teachings of quantum physics and so forth, we start to realize that that there, there is no perceptual world that's apart from the perceiver. In, in lesson 132, Jesus says, there is no world apart from what you think. And then he goes even further and he says ultimately in that lesson, there is no world, exclamation point. He's taking it deeper and deeper to this idea that there's nothing outside of us. So we have had this belief in time and space, in dimensions, three-dimensional world and, and, and dimensions beyond this world and realms beyond this world. And there's many books, even the Arantia book is quite uh, good at articulating a lot of these different realms and the whole cosmology and everything like that. But basically, everything that we perceive is what we, the meaning that we gave it. All the particulars of your brother, just like all the particulars of my grandmother, uh, Lily, who was a very significant uh, character in my life and awakening. She was just a symbol of unconditional love. You can do no wrong. Uh, are there by, by design, you might say, that uh, nothing is ra at random, uh, no person, no place, no event, nothing at all comes at random, and that, that these people that have been very significant in our life experiences on planet Earth are, are reflections of what we have in our mind. 